Hello. Welcome to this Visible Analyst e tutorial brief, How to Manipulate Lines in the Visible Analyst. Depending upon the diagram that you are working with, lines used on the diagrams are referred to as data flows, relationships, connectors, object links, messages, etc. Each of these other line types may have additional specific features and attributes, which are explained in the appropriate diagramming e-tutorial. In this tutorial, we will review the basics of working with lines, such as drawing the lines, adding and deleting line segments, using some of the more advanced features such as connect and snap, and adding custom lines. When a methodology diagram is opened, the tools icon bar displays the various line types supported for that diagram type. Here we see the data flow lines for the data flow diagrams. When we switch to a structure chart diagram type, you notice the symbols and a number of new line types are now shown in the tools taskbar. When you left mouse click on a line it becomes highlighted and you can see the three components of a line in the visible analyst. The first component are the boxes at either end of the line called line handles. The second part is the actual line drawn in between the line handles which is called the line segment. The third part of the line is the name of the line. I can select the line and disconnect it from the symbols. If I left mouse click on one of the line handles and keep the left mouse button depressed, when I drag the line I can increase or decrease the size of the line. I can also add a new line segment by clicking the insert button on the keyboard and then continuing to draw. I can continue to click the insert button and add additional line segments. Notice I have the different line segments with the new handles. To remove the line segments, left mouse click on a handle and then dash the line, click the delete button on the keyboard and the excess handles are removed. If I'm moving a line and I want to cancel the move, click the escape key on the keyboard and that cancels the move. Let me insert a line here and I can move the line so that it's connected in this direction. As you can see, by moving the line handle, I can increase or decrease the size of the line. Let me draw a new line. This happens to be an arc line and because I'm not ending the drawing of the line within a symbol, I have to double click in order for the line to be drawn on the diagram. Again, click the escape key or click the arrow button to get out of line drawing mode. And if I dash the line again, I can change the orientation of the line. To delete the line, I can right mouse click and choose delete or click delete on the keyboard. One of the more advanced features of the visible analyst is the connect function. When I draw a line here on a functional decomposition diagram, I can start within one symbol and within another symbol and the line is drawn automatically. I'm not prompted to label the line because the lines on a functional decomposition diagram are not labeled. I can start again within the same area of the first symbol, drag my mouse and then I can draw a second line to another symbol. I can go back and fix the line so that it's a little bit more even, but there's a much easier way to connect the lines on the diagram. Here I drew a bounding box around the two lines that I draw, that I had drawn. Click the delete button and that removes these lines from the diagram. Another way to draw the bounding box is to hold the shift key down on the keyboard and left mouse click on the selected symbols. Choose the diagram connect feature and the visible analyst will automatically draw the lines from the topmost symbol to the lower level symbols. This is very commonly used especially when you're drawing a 
supertype subtype relationship here on an entity relationship diagram. I can drag the left mouse button to create that bounding box. Again, you can either use the diagram connect function or you can right mouse click within the bounding box and choose connect. The visible analyst will automatically draw the lines for you. Even though the lines are on top of each other, there are three individual lines that are drawn. It's just easier to have the visible analyst do it when you're drawing a supertype subtype relationship. Now, these lines are not recognized until they're labeled. Double click on the line, we automatically label a supertype subtype relationship. And now when I double click on the line again, it's automatically added to the repository. And now I can show the relationship between the two entities on either end of this is a relationship here. While working with structure charts, a number of invocation line types are available, as well as data connections and control connections. In addition, couples are also shown here. You would draw an invocation line from one module to a second module. In this case, the line is not labeled. However, if I wanted to show data passing from one module to another module, I can click on the couple icon, and to show data passing from the program login module, I would click the line handle closest to that module. Here I'm prompted to label it. And if I want to show a return value, I would click on the line handle closest to verify password. And here I have the verification returning. If on the structure charts you don't find the line type in the icon list, click the options, line types menu option, and you can select the line type as well as the terminator type specific to the structure chart diagrams. This ability to add couples from one module to another module by clicking on the line handle is also the way that you would show information, information passing on a collaboration diagram. There are a number of options available on the options menu when dealing with lines. The auto label lines option prompts you to label a line as soon as it's added to a diagram. Remember, a line is not added to the repository until it's named and the diagram is saved. We reviewed the line settings features. The auto connect option is the ability to start drawing within one symbol on a diagram and within the contents of a second symbol and the visible analyst will draw the line in between the two symbols. The auto position text automatically repositions the text of the line for you on the diagram. Include connections is activated when you move a symbol on the diagram. The lines connected to that symbol are also included in the move. As a summary, we reviewed a number of line options available in the Visible Analyst, ways that you can automatically have the Visible Analyst draw the lines between the symbols, auto-label the symbols, and then work with the lines on the various diagram types. See the online help system for additional information about drawing lines specific to the methodology diagram that you're working with. Thank you.